Right, we are back. For how long? I do not know. Um, there's a cold going around the Cooper household. Mrs. Cooper's got it really bad, and I'm starting to get the sniffles and the coughs. So, bad back over, and we're on to a new era. <laughs> what we're going to do today is just play around um, with some abalone shells. You've seen me use these before. These are really thin. These are, they were listed as nail art on Amazon, but they're really thin and they're, they're gonna work for what I want to do. Now these are an absolute pain in the backside to open. You can see all the damage where I've had to use my, my pliers to kind of really open a bit easier now because I've done it so many times. <laughs> but they are a pain. So, I can't guarantee you're going to get big chunks like this. Every set is going to be different. But you can see how thin, get off, static steel. You see how thin they are, which is going to make it a lot easier for what I want to show you in this video. And as always, please watch the video the whole way through. I know many of you do. And for those that do, I really do love you. It really does help. If you skip through, it just kills my channel. So for this one, I'm using UV resin. You could do this with two part, but you're gonna to need to be a little bit more patient. It's just really quick and easy with UV resin. So I'm going for, I kind of skipped a part there. So <laughs> because these are so small, we're limited as to what kind of pieces we can make at the moment, unless you get really, really big chunks. And I know you can get this, I think on Etsy as a, like a, um, what do you call it? A veneer you can get this in sheeted veneer style so for this we've got smaller parts so we need to use smaller parts of our mold to kind of create them so all I'm going to do really this is a really easy um, video really easy to follow really easy to make you, you can't really go wrong and these pieces pack a punch so I'm just going to fill these to the top and then just give them a cure with my light make sure there's no bubbles because if there's any bubbles they are going to be magnified by the dome of the shape dome of the shape of the mold and just get them all out and you want these flush um, flat on the back so bear in mind that UV resin shrinks slightly so add one drop more than what you need and like I said just cure those for a minute on both sides and once they are cured I am just going to double make sure that I'm not going to leave any fingerprints or marks on these I'm just going to give them a minute water cure just to make sure because any kind of prints on this or marks are really going to show and we don't want that and for anyone new to my channel and you don't understand why I'm doing this please be sure to check out hashtag 168 and then just dry them off. So then we're just left with our small beads. So now you just want to kind of fish out some of the really nice pieces with lots of colour that it really has got an opal effect. And what we can do is take you down is just don't have to use tweezers, I don't know why I did that. Just make sure that the bead fits on top of the piece that you want. It doesn't look like much at the moment. The colour's really not showing through. But when we do the next step, which is really easy, <laughs> you're going to see what happens. So all I'm going to do is drop a drop of UV resin onto that shell and then place this on top. It's that easy, it really is that easy. Now with our light at hand, you just want to apply a little bit of pressure to the top. This is another reason why it's also a good idea to water kill, just to make sure that the resin is not going to be marked by pushing that down. And just hold it in place, Just this prevents any bubbles being sucked in between the abalone and the resin cabochon. Might also be a good idea to do this on a silicon, an old silicon. I wasn't talking to you. <laughs> a 
an old silicon um, coaster mold. But after about 15 or so seconds, you can take the tool away and then just let that cure without any worry that any air is going to get sucked in. So once that is cured, we are left with this really, really crazy piece. Now what you want to do is just break away the edges. Really, really easy to do. Now, I do not recommend sanding any kind of shell. It can be really dangerous. If you do, make sure you've got your full PPE on. But what I found the best way of finishing this off was just using my small craft knife. And just going around the edges, it really does. It's so easy to just clean it up this way it just chips away just be careful you're not damaging the surface that you're doing it on and whatever you do don't throw away these small pieces because we can use those in rings like we have before okay i finished playing uh i think this one's my favorite and i've just topped the back up with a little bit of black mica powder just to see if there's a bit of a difference so this one went a bit wrong there's a blemish just in the middle and I think what that is is actually part of the abalone shell see that blemish there on the back it's in the same place roughly but look at that that is absolutely stunning I didn't finish off the edges on this one just because of that um, that mark on the inside as always massive shout out to my channel members anyone who's bought me a coffee or a super thanks and as always give the video a thumbs up drop me a comment if you haven't subbed hit that button for me look at that one i picked one with a different pattern in it and it really does give like a natural stone effect it really is something else now what you could do with these is you can make them into stud earrings if you wanted to really small pendants you can find um, hardware for it so these are I do believe let me measure yeah so this one's 10 mil and these ones smaller ones are 8 mil so you can find the hardware anywhere you shop doesn't quite fit in that one look at that color it's really intense and this one I went for some really good stripy patterns in the shell Look at that red, the pink, change the angle, changes colours, really eye-catching. So simple, yet so effective. That one's like a sun, like a sunset. Again, a tiny little bubble up the top there, but it's barely noticeable. That one again needs finishing off a bit better around the outsides. And it's quite forgiving. You can see on the back of this one, there are some gaps where the shell wasn't quite big enough. But when you flip it, you wouldn't know. Because of that magnification, it really does help. But look at those colors. That's crazy. Do what you want with them. I will be looking for some bigger shell because I really want to do my big ovals or the big hearts. And this is the one that I covered in the black and it really did help. It's like um, the Northern Lights, Aurora Borealis. Absolutely incredible. Such an easy process. So this one I made up. I'm not too keen on the pinch bale. It's a bit overpowering for the size of the piece. And I popped that onto a sterling silver necklace for Mrs. Cooper. There you go. I just drilled a hole from the back with my hand drill and just applied the pinch bale and popped that straight on the necklace. So small, but such a, a stunning, stunning effect. Right, hope you enjoyed the video. I love these. <laughs> I will see you for the next one. Bye for now.